Amanda, thank you. All new this morning, researchers at Florida Atlantic University say seaweed that's been washing up in Florida can hold deadly flesh-eating bacteria. Not what you want to hear. Researchers have been testing samples from the massive 5,000-mile blob that we have been monitoring for weeks now in the Caribbean. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar joining us live from Jacksonville Beach this morning. And Aaron, the seaweed itself, it, it, it's not the issue here. It's actually plastic that's wrapped up in some of that seaweed that ends up washing up on the shores that can end up containing some of that deadly bacteria. Here at Jacksonville Beach, you can take a look at what it looks like this early this morning. Several people out and about walking the beach, taking a quick swim or a surf. You don't see any of that seaweed here on the beach, and there's a specific reason why. Researchers at Florida Atlantic concluded that after testing samples from the seaweed blob, that the plastic in it has significant potential for flesh-eating bacteria to spread. The bacteria, Vibrio, cause infections if exposed to open wounds. That could be anything from a cut or a scrape to recent piercings, tattoos, or surgery. It is rare, however. Seaweed season runs from April through October, and while the seaweed blob in the Caribbean is not an immediate concern at local beaches, we do see plenty of other seaweed wash up on our shores. I spoke with News 4 Jacks meteorologist Katie Garner, who says when it reaches the sand, there is another concern. The seaweed itself is not harmful to humans, but decaying sargasm on beaches releases hydrogen sulfide. That can impact people with breathing issues. That said, even decaying sargasm is not considered harmful because the gases disperse quickly on breezy beaches. You might ask, why not collect the seaweed while it's still in the water? Katie says actually that's against the law because it's a shelter and a food source for marine life. It can be removed once it hits our shores. Now, as we give you another live look here at Jacksonville Beach earlier this morning, if you're wondering why you don't see any of that seaweed at all, even during seaweed season, that's because a lot of tourist beaches, crews rake up to the, some of the beaches every morning just to clear up some of that debris and some of that seaweed. But that's not the case everywhere you'll go throughout the state. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.